These are the areas of Ukraine where President Viktor Yanukovych traditionally held support, the regions nearer his Russian ally. In the southeast of the country, temperatures had dropped to minus 20 degrees Celsius, but that didn't stop protesters going onto the street, nor killed their optimism that the tide was turning in their favor. The Yanukovych regime has started falling apart. Hooray! We're handing the symbol of revolution to the administration. If needed, we'll let the government burn to hell, together with its bad officials. However, in these mainly pro-government areas, supporters held demonstrations of their own. In Odessa and Donetsk, loyalists rallied outside regional administrative buildings. Anti-government protesters in Donetsk say they're often under attack from the president's supporters. You can obviously see that these guys are organized. They march in columns and they wear white masks. They're mingling with us and wearing the same type of clothes. And yes, the situation is complicated. Opposition to the government is still more powerful in Ukraine's west and capital Kiev, where pro-EU feeling is at its strongest. The Ukrainian protests started in November when President Yanukovych abruptly abandoned plans for further EU political association and free trade deals in favor of taking a Russian bailout loan.